G'day folks, Techie Tom here from Miners Den in Bendigo. I'm going to show you how to update your Equinox 900. This is the same process for the Equinox 700 and a very similar process for the Xterra Pro as well. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to jump on the MineLab website. We're going to find the Equinox 900. Uh, we're going to scroll on down until we get the downloads. We're going to click that and then it's going to be in the software. After that, you're going to click that link as well. That's going to take us to our update page. A little bit of information there about what the update does. We'll run through that right now with you as well. And there'll also be a link there to download the update software. So, uh, mine have, have done a bit of work with this one actually. So, you get enhanced target separation with a new iron bias of negative one. Now, this really helps when you're in a really trashy area and there's quite a lot of iron around there and it's masking some targets. You can turn that down to minus one, really softens that iron bias and will help you find the targets hidden in all that trash. Uh, the other really cool feature is the continuous noise cancel. Now, I believe the Manticore has this feature, uh, but this is a bit new for the 900, so you can hold that down and noise cancel will run for longer until you let go. This helps really quiet the machine down if you're having a hard time getting the noise cancel and, and a bit of an EMI sort of area. Uh, the other thing is just some general stability enhancements. They haven't gone into details what they are, but we have found the machine does run quite a bit more stable. So whatever they've done, it has worked. All right, a few other things to keep in mind. It has to be a USB 2 port. Now that shouldn't be a problem if your computer is, I don't know, newer than 20 years old. Um, it does have to be Windows 10. Uh, Windows 10 has been out for 10 years, so once again, I'd, I'd hope that you've got Windows 10 at the very least, uh, or Windows 11, which is the newest one. Uh, you can do Mac as well. If you've got a Mac, it has, has to be uh, 10.15 or later. All right, now, we've, we've, I've already downloaded the software here. The update's there for Windows, the update's there for Mac. Make sure you get the right one. Once that's uh, downloaded, you can fire it up. I've already got it here. So then we're going to get our detector. We're going to plug our detector in to our USB 2 or USB 3 ports. Now, if you've got a blue USB on your computer, that is the better one. That's a USB 3 or higher. Go with that. Turn your detector on. All right, there we go. Turn your detector on first. Start up the utility program and there we are. Okay, so updates available, it's easy. Now you just click install. Don't unplug your machine. Don't make sure your machine's actually got battery before you start this. It will charge while it's on, but you don't want to run any risks. Um, for whatever reason, you accidentally do knock the USB and your machine turns off or disconnects from the computer, it's not the end of the world. Just start the process again, then the machine will look after itself and update properly. Uh, Mine have also done a thing where you can roll back to the previous software if you're not happy with this one. I can't see any reason why you'd want to do that, um, but you can if you want to. Uh, so this process takes about four minutes, guys. So uh, go turn the kettle on, have a cuppa, and come back, and then we should be good to go. All right, and that's it. Uh, your detector will make a little bit of a beep when it's all done. It says 100%, you're good to go. Your detector is good to be disconnected from your computer once it says quit, and uh, now you can safely remove your device. Quit, pull him off. And that's it, we're good to go. Go enjoy the new settings, guys. Uh, this has been Techie Tom for the Mind Lab Show with a pro tip for updating your Equinox 900. Mm -hmm.